that is a giant. Oh my gosh. Let's go. I cannot even believe this right now. Yo, what's going on guys? Just briefly before the video kicks off, I just want to say I hope you enjoy my first skein bobber downs of the 2020 King Salmon season. I had gone up here several times, caught some goose eggs, literally no fish, and it wasn't until this trip that I finally got into some fish. Super fun trip. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. I'm gonna be uploading videos weekly from here on out, heading into the salmon season, and then eventually into steelhead, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's been one of my favorite videos I've edited in a minute and I hope you guys enjoy. Peace. A little bigger. Mm -hmm. Some little bigger, so we gotta go a little bit smaller next time. You think this spot's worth a chunk of skein? All right. I hope there's a fish here. I don't think that there is. Unless I just can't see it yet. It's a very good run though. It'll definitely hold fish at some point in the year. I don't think you, like this isn't like normal salmon season. I hope you understand this right now. What? Oh, 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 oh. That was a big salmon. Yes, do not move. It swam right up and tacked it. I swear to God in my life. Oh my gosh. There's a pile of salmon right here. Got it. No, 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 no. We need to get him upstream, 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 upstream. Oh. We're gonna beach it. Oh my gosh. It's big. It's big. It's a big salmon. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh. Keep its head upstream. You gotta keep it out of this snag. Oh no! It broke my float. Oh my God. It's big. It's a big buck. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, keep it upstream. We gotta swing it onto the beach. We got it. No, 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 no. Spoke too soon. This is why we need a net. We got it. Oh my God. Bro, we got a salmon. Oh my gosh. Hold my rod. Okay. Hold my rod. Get a with Hold this. This set everything down. Nice. Oh my God. That is a giant. That is a giant. That is a giant. Oh my gosh. Let's go. I cannot even believe this right now. This is a freaking, this one's pushing 20 pounds. We're gonna let him go though. Okay, picture with him. Got ourselves probably a low 20, high teens, buck salmon. Took our skein chunk right there. You can see the hook just absolutely buried. Look at that, look at that hook set. That's crazy, man. And I think I got my hemos. I'll, unless I can get it by hand. Oh, I got it by hand. Oh, yay. All right. 
I, I seriously can't even believe this. Are we keeping him? No. Oh. This is a buck. If it was a female, maybe, but I, get low, get low. This is awesome, man. This is so cool. This is awesome. All right, do you want to get an underwater release? He's definitely ready. Fishing for kings, we hook into a massive scam, which was very unpredicted. Did not expect this at all. Just absolute dimer. This thing had to have just came off the lake. This thing is so chrome. Like this thing is seriously so chrome. Big buck. I would I would argue that this fish is probably close to 10 pounds. I really don't want to. I really don't want to keep this fish, but. The general rule is like thump. I mean, as you can tell, he's pretty gassed. I don't know if this fish is going to make it. So I didn't have really any intentions on keeping fish, but we're going to have to. Look at this hook sack. It inhaled that. I can't even see the hook. That This is like a trophy size steelhead. I can't even believe this. I didn't get any of the bobber down footage. It made a jump that was probably three feet high. It made probably a 40, 50 yard run. <laughs> He's awesome. He's awesome. This is a big buck scam. I am so mad I didn't record that. I have some of the recording. Look at how beautiful this fish is. I that look, is the size of my hand. All right guys, so very briefly, I just wanted to show you the setup that I was running in this video. First off, I was using a nine foot six Fenwick HMX rod. It's a medium moderate action. I, I use it as my float rod for steelhead and salmon. And we have that paired with a 2500 Stratic C14, I, yeah, C, or is it, yeah, C14. And that is gonna be spooled up with 200 yards of 20 pound test power pro braid and then next we're going to be having that run to a 20 pound test fluorocarbon leader i believe it's maxima and it's pretty similar to your typical steelhead float setup really nothing much is different it's going to be running to a 15 gram blood run float two stoppers on the top and bottom of this. That's gonna be led to a size three water gremlin split shot into a blood run micro swivel. Then we've just got a standard fisherman's knot running to the fluorocarbon leader. After that, we are going to have, depending on how fast their water is gonna be, and in the situation for my video, I used four size five water gremlin split shot. And then we also have two blood run BB split shot and then we have a Gamagatsu one aught octopus hook right here. And as far as knots go, I just used a standard Snell knot, nothing too fancy. A lot of people like using the egg loop knot. Um, I just used the Snell knot for this video. I'm still getting the egg loop down, I'll be honest, but nothing too crazy on my rig, guys. This is what I was running. I thought, I figured I'd sh share it with you guys. Pretty much identical to any steelhead float setup I'd run unless I'm running like jigs or beads or something like that. But this is a pretty typical float setup. I figured you guys might enjoy seeing what I used, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. I'm gonna be uploading a lot of salmon and steelhead videos heading into the season. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It's been a pleasure, I'm out, peace.